Hey everyone, this is Pico Rivera, California here. Welcome to my brand new podcast series. I know I've tried to start one in the past, but I've been unable to keep up with it. But I promise you this one will be really good, really sweet, and it's going to be short. Um, kind of a mini podcast series, if you don't mind. But um, it's going to happen once a week. You know, there will be something in the world that kind of pisses me off a little bit or something that occurs. And I'm going to talk about it or something that comes up to mind to me one day either during school and I write it down or something that happens. But either way, um, this idea, I had it when I was at lunch the other day with my friend. I ate a Chipotle, really expensive if you buy chips. But um, other than that, it's really good, you know, but um, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm going to have all of you kind of ask yourself this question while responding to it in the comments. Um, what is more valuable? And and we're talking about soccer here, you know, because the World Cup is on, and you know the U.S. is gonna have a big game as of this up as of this um podcast uploaded. Either they've um e- they've either done one of two things, and that's either lost against Germany or they drew against them. Or oh, actually, one three things: lost, drew, or won. And that would be amazing if they won, but I don't really see them doing it against Germany's three-time World Cup champions. So, as of this podcast, if um if if it does go up and the uh, U.S. has won, please um, tell me I'm wrong. But you know, I don't. Other than the fact that U.S. doesn't have um some of its big players, you know, it doesn't have Josie out the door. I don't really see him moving past the group stage. You know, I think. It was overhyped and maybe might have been landed Donovan's last chance because he is getting older. So, in my opinion, I don't think the U.S. could possibly get through. I mean, they have to have some sort of miracle. But if they do, then I'm an asshole. (laughs) But enough of that. The question I ask that I actually want to pose to everyone that's listening or watching, whatever, um, is what is more valuable? An Olympic gold medal in soccer or a World Cup championship. Now, I know a lot of you may think, oh, it's got to be the World Cup or, oh, it's got to be an Olympic medal, which I don't think too many would root for. But you really have to think about it because I think a World Cup, even though it's done once every four years, it also can be done in the Olympics. Like, for example, the 2012 final, um, it had Mexico facing Brazil and also I was just adjusting myself so uh I do apologize for that but Mexico beat up Brazil oh oh and I think um I think what was it I forgot what the final score was so, I don't know but I'm just gonna look it up right now uh, because I can <laughs> so the so of course uh Last, so I'm just gonna explain how close Germany, not Germany, uh, was it the top five World Cup winners are, uh, Brazil obviously with five, um, was it Brazil, uh, past, past um, was it Brazil, Germany and Italy I think no it's Brazil Italy and Germany if I am correct, so, oh well, yeah you know. <laughs> so, yeah, but a lot of people really do look at the Olympics and, oh, that's interesting, you know, I mean, but yeah. <laughs> so, what I want to do is I'm going to take a look at what says the football, which is awesome because personally, I like it. Um. So, also, speaking of World Cup, uh, 2010, I do have one thing to say. That was terrible, allowing France in, you know. Mainly because of the handball by Thierry Henry. And, oh, it says right here, uh, what is it? It says right here, the gold medal match, Wembley Stadium. Mexico won a 2-1. Hulk scored one goal, but that wasn't enough. And uh, Mexico shockingly won, you know. A lot of people thought, oh, Brazil's going to get it. Brazil's going to get it. Let's see, what is it? So, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just looking at this. So, how close has um, how close has Brazil ever gotten? So you know. So we're gonna start at the very first one, obviously. Ooh, that's interesting. So, well, I'm just gonna put 
this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go 1984. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm gonna do the top up as it's seen on um, Wikipedia. Well, this is kind of a uh, stupid in my opinion. Um, <laughs> so football, the 84 Olympics. So 84 Olympics, France, then France beat Brazil, and Yugoslavia beat Italy. Then in 88, you know, the Soviet Union beat Brazil, which is not too surprising. Spain beat Poland, and Ghana won. Then Brazil did win a bronze, but Nigeria beat Argentina. Uh, uh, Cameroon beat Spain, and that's 2000. 2004, Argentina won. Then was it 2008, Argentina won again. And Brazil were, what was it? Nowhere in sight in 2004. Was it from was it from 1990 from yeah, ni- from 2000 to 2008? Well, 2000 and, from f- 2000 2007. Well, 2008 they were nowhere in sight. So they were really close a couple times, but obviously this happened, which is not too surprising. So, yeah, I mean, that's my question for all of you that are watching, and I apologize for the rambling, but that's what it is. It's called Pico's Rambling for a reason. <laughs> but my question to you is, what is more valuable, a Olympic gold medal or a World Cup title? Leave your ideas in the comments below. Go ahead and either like or dislike the video, whether you think, because um, I'm going to state my opinion again um i believe an olympic gold medal is more valuable than a world cup one because world cup although as amazing as it is it does have some controversial moments and in uh same for all soccer matches but um yeah <coughs> excuse me um so that's the question what's more valuable last time i think gold medal in the olympics is better than a gold medal in the fifa world cup so do you agree or disagree with me? Um, one more time, leave your comments down below. Uh, like or dislike the video. And uh, I'll see you next week for another episode of Pico's Ramblings.